Welcome to the Nanotechnology and Microsystems option at the University of British Columbia. Artificial and biological devices exist over a wide range of length scales. At present, we can reproducibly create devices whose smallest features are about 30 nanometers. What comes next? How can we make devices smaller and bring them down closer to the size of an atom? What will future devices look like? Maybe they'll be like those of Ali Reza Noje, a professor of electrical computer engineering at UBC, who's created transistors consisting of crossed carbon nanotubes. Increasingly, circuits also include mechanical devices, such as those developed by Dr. Kenichi Takahata. Circuits are also being inserted into the brain and interfacing with tissue. Here are some examples produced by Karen Chung in electrical engineering. The nanotechnology and microsystems option helps students prepare for the revolutionary changes that are occurring as chips become smaller and more diverse. Students in the electrical engineering program begin this option in the third year. There are 12 dedicated faculty and typically about 40 students in each year. The option involves both theory and practice. All students take core electrical engineering courses. All graduating students are eligible to become certified electrical engineers upon graduating. These students have also specialized in nanotechnology and microsystems. There are two required courses in third year. Molecules to Mechanisms introduces students to concepts in quantum mechanics and mechanics of materials, as well as microfluidics. Topics in nanotechnology and microsystems provide students with an opportunity to interact with leading scientists both in academia and industry. In fourth year, students have an opportunity to work on a project in one of the many labs devoted to microsystems and nanotechnologies at UBC. In addition, there are several required courses, including 401, a course introducing new concepts in electronics, 402, describing applications of sensors and actuators and integration with circuits. The Micro Nano Fabrication and Instrumentation Lab provides students with an opportunity to build circuits at the micro and nano scale and test them. In the capstone project, students may choose to work with lasers, microelectromechanical systems, protein photovoltaics or solar cells, miniaturized sensors, carbon nanotube devices, and a wide variety of other materials. In the fabrication lab, students work with electron microscopes, atomic force microscopes, and build devices in the clean room. In addition to the required courses, an additional nine units or three courses in the option areas of expertise may be selected. Students can choose to learn more about semiconductor devices, systems on a chip, optical devices, how nature performs its nanotech, microelectromechanical systems, and nanoelectronics. They may also take courses in physics and chemistry. We're looking for students who want to be on the leading edge of change. If you like to know how things work down to the atomic scale and to put things into practice, consider joining our option. Further information can be found at the departmental website. You can also find out information on our faculty at www.mina.ubc.ca. Thank you.